In this video, I'm going to walk you through the last two ways we might obtain a costume piece, which is by renting it or by having the shop custom build it. So the main place we rent costumes from here at Hunter College is TDF's costume collection, which is in Astoria. So it's a huge warehouse full of costumes. They have a ton of stuff. Um, so if we were looking for a historical costume, like an Edwardian gown or a Victorian suit, or if we were looking for something fantastical, like the fairies in Much Ado About Nothing, that would probably be the best place to find those things. So the any information you need about the pricing for renting from TDF, about how to get there, and what the process of getting that rental is, is available on their website. Um, once you've rented things and brought them back to the costume shop, it's important to mark them as coming from TDF so we can make sure we find everything to return it after the show is over. So we usually doing, do that by having a specific color ribbon that we pin small pieces of to every rented garment so that we can find them all again in the end. When it comes to getting custom garments built for your show, Hunter College has a relatively small costume shop, so we can't do a ton, but depending upon what kinds of things you need, we might be able to make three or four pieces for a given show. So that's a conversation that you want to have with the shop manager, in this case me, pretty early on in your process to figure out what's going to be feasible. Because if, for example, you had a period gown for your main character that was extremely specific and you felt like it needed to be something very exact. I could probably do that, but that might be the only thing we could build for that show. But if you wanted something simpler, like if you had a chorus and you needed them to have exactly identical skirts, and so you needed three identical skirts built, that's an easier thing to do, so that's something we could do. Another important thing to keep in mind is accessories, because sometimes custom-made accessories um, can come together a lot faster, but can be really visually impactful and do a lot to make the show feel unique and feel like what you and your director have talked about it being. So for example, these are wings we built for Judas Iscariot. These were relatively quick and easy to make, but they make a big visual impact. So it's just important to keep in mind that that's a conversation that you have to have with the shop to see what's going to be feasible. When it comes to figuring out if things are going to fit your actors, you want to keep in mind the same measurements that we talked about in the taking measurements video. So for example, a pair of pants is sized based on the waist and the inseam. So you can measure that on a pair of pants that you found at a store or at TDF and see if it's going to fit. Likewise, on a skirt or a dress, the waist is going to be the most important measurement. The other thing is that we might be able to make things bigger or smaller. Making things smaller is always easier than making things bigger. Usually making things bigger won't be feasible, but if it's a theatrical garment, so if it's something in our stock or at TDF, it can be worth looking at the seam allowance. So this is the seam allowance. So you see we're on the inside of the garment, we're looking at the seam, and the seam allowance is this extra fabric on either side of the seam. So you can see here there's very little fabric there. So we've got in total um, three quarters of an inch about of fabric in here. So we could really only make this about half an inch bigger at this seam, which isn't a lot. But some theatrical costumes might have as much as one inch of fabric on either side of the seam. So you might be able to make it as much as one and a half inches bigger. So if you find a skirt like this skirt, the waistband is only 25 and I probably couldn't make it much bigger. But if there was a ton of seam allowance in all of its seams and my performer's waist was 27, that might be feasible. The other place to look at is the hem of a garment. So you can see that this skirt has been hemmed. So there's like five inches hemmed up here. So I could very easily make this five inches longer. And that's often true of pants as well. You can always make a skirt or a pair of pants shorter and you can check and see how much they've already been hemmed in the past to see if we might be able to make them longer. The other thing we can often do to a costume piece to make it come closer to your design is we can often add trim or take trim off or replace buttons with different buttons. So those are some of the main things that we can do to make something that's already made seem more like the thing you wanted and to make it fit better. So to review, what kind of things might I try to pull from TDF? And what would I measure on a pair of pants to see if it's going to fit my actor? 